models that we have. We've got JTV69, which is based on a classic, inspired by a classic guitar from 1969, that's worth getting its name. Uh, 1959, inspired by a classic guitar from that was around sort of 1959. And then over here we have the JTV 89, again inspired by a classic guitar that was uh, reached its kind of its popularity in, in 1989. Um, all models have the say the dual core processor in, so they're going to do all the brand new sort of high definition kind of sounds. Um, JTV 69, uh, you've got all the body up to maple neck rolled. On here 59, in keeping with the tradition of the guitar, we've got a mahogany body, but we've actually got a maple top on here as well. And over on the actually a mahogany body on the JTV 89 as well. So 25, 25 HD dual core processed uh, models. I'd urge anybody when they get the chance to try these guitars alongside a previous variant because it really is like night and day. They, do, they really do sound. They really do sound like nice, nicer. As well as obviously the plane. We've got James Tyler involved to design design some fantastic quality guitars. It's got that kind of lovely James Tyler neck profile that you would expect on here. And I've, used to own and play James Tyler guitars and it really does feel familiar from those very expensive high-end guitars that he does. Um, that's, you know, your 59 guitar again, lovely neck profile. And basically what we've done with James Tyler is just got him to create some guitars that would be like your, your baby of a guitar, the guitar that you'd play all the time. You'd, it would be a number one guitar and the sort of guitar you'd, you'd, you'd jump to straight away, which is it's arguably it's something that the last guitar was never going to was never going to, to be. It was just a, it was a great workhorse and you know a great tool for getting a lot of different sounds in one. Another unique thing that we have on here, we now got the addition of the tuning wheel. This gives us ten different alternate tunings. We've also got a model, a standard tuning in there, and the model tuning, so whatever, whatever is actually set into the guitar. And it means instantly, using digital modeling, I can tune into a, a whole bunch of alternate tunings. These now work on a 12-string guitar. So as I just run through the ones that are programmed in here, we've got standard tuning, drop D tuning, half step down, so the whole guitar will go down to A flat. Um, I've got drop D flat, a full step down, I've got my dad guard tunings, my open Ds, blues G, reso G, open A, and then last but not least, we've got the baritone tuning on there. Same kind of tunings that you feature on the 59. On the 89, we've got slightly different tunings, which are more developed for the kind of the metal player, the guy who wants to do some some real drop tune stuff. They're all overwritable with Workbench, so if you just really like that sound, but you want to use more traditional folky tunings, you can you can overwrite any of the tunings in there as well.